In this lesson, we'll begin to layer colors on top of the base colors we selected for our character's face. All right, fantastic. So here we go with the uh, Lesson 4 Begin file. And, you know, we've laid down base colors here, and we've kind of got a little bit of a scratch area going on over here. Now, um, gradually we're going to be getting darker in almost, almost all of these areas, but um, thinking about the colors we're choosing here, we're working with some rather warm colors here. Warm meaning uh, very hot feeling. We've got uh, reds, reddish oranges and yellows here. So uh, now thinking about maybe these colors over here, here these colors are a little bit cooler. There's a little bit of blue mixed into these reds. So you can see some of these are starting to look a little bit more like purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be bouncing kind of back and forth between these two. Let's maybe select uh, this one right here. And you can see I've already kind of pulled that in and kind of compared that. And what I would recommend for you is uh, continue to leave your pencils in place and just kind of begin blocking in colors and build it up slowly. That's kind of the process with these, uh, these specific types of markers, is you build up the value slowly. So we're just going to come in here and you can kind of see, uh, again, I'm hitting some of these areas. I'm kind of being mindful of the highlights that I've already established. Uh, I don't necessarily want to come in and obliterate those, but I am starting to get a bit darker. So uh, let's maybe check this color out right here. That's really, really close to what we've been working with. So um, let's maybe try this one. That's quite a bit darker. Just kind of playing with some different hues here. I like that one. So I'm going to come in here and start to bring that one in rather slowly. And again, I'm working on top of our skin layer. So uh, we're not worried about uh, necessarily covering up our pencils. We can hide those at any time, just simply by coming over here and clicking on the little eyeball there. And I'm going to just kind of bring in some inside this eye socket here. But you can see here how I'm kind of steering clear of the highlights. I'm also uh, basically kind of as I get closer to those. Uh, let me just hide these here. You can see that I'm not even coming really close. I'm just kind of blocking in these areas of color. Now, if I get to a point where maybe I need to blend some in, we can come back over to our brush properties over here by clicking that button in our brush palette and simply begin to maybe blend some of those in. Maybe we didn't want uh, that little stroke right there. We'll just kind of blend that a little bit. Now, ultimately, it's really kind of early to begin thinking about blending colors together. I'm still worried about, you know, keeping the separation of my highlights um, against my uh, my shadows here. So um, establishing some tonal variance. So I'm going to come over here, maybe let's actually shrink my brush down a little bit. Now, you can do that using the bracket keys, or you can hold down the B key on your keyboard and drag right to your left to kind of interactively do that. Or like I showed you before, we can do that inside our brush properties. And we'll come over and hit here. Let's come back to our Copic library here. I'm actually going to come back up a step. Um, typically, you want to work from light to dark with this type of project. Um, try not to bounce around too much. Now, I'm kind of working around in this area here, um, kind of trying to create a little bit more of a transition between some of these hues that I've already laid down. But uh, when it comes to um, the clear separation of hues, uh, if they don't need to be blended, work from light to dark. Lay down your lightest ones first, then come in and get darker and darker. So um, I'm going to drag that to the right so I can come in and hide that there. All right, so we're looking pretty good. I'm going to come in here and continue to get darker. Let's come in maybe, let's see, no, I'm not really feeling any of those. I'm going to stick over here, but I'm going to stick with the ones that have a little bit more yellow in them. You can see how some of these have uh, more of a red hue, and some of them have a little bit more of a peach color to them. That one's kind of pink. That one feels a little bit more like a red. So, um, And again, you can use these in uh, a couple of different ways. You can come in and lay down a simple stroke like that, or you can layer it in and get darker with it. So I'm going to start kind of slowly with a stroke like that. And in some of the areas, I'm going to go over that stroke a bit more. Now, also, as you're laying these strokes down, let me just undo back a few times, um, I would try and go with the curvatures of the face. 
So for example here, I'm going to kind of go with the curvature of her eye socket here. And you can see I'm starting to get to a point where I may need to blend just a little bit. Let's come back in here. Uh, kind of another way you can blend is not necessarily by switching to a colorless blender, but by coming in here with a little bit lighter color. And sometimes you can hit that edge and kind of soften that a little bit. Just sort of like that. And I'll come in with my colorless blender. Let's kind of create a nice soft transition. There we go. All right, fantastic. So eventually you're, you should be able to get to the point where you don't need the pencils anymore and you can really kind of focus in on um, basically what exactly it is that you're coloring. So I'm going to just come in here and work without our pencils for just a little bit here. Kind of drop in some darker values. I'm also going to mix in a little bit of these warm colors in places. Again, testing it out over to the side to see what that's going to look like. Just mix in a little bit. Ah, that's a really dark orange there. Let's come back over here and maybe go for something a little more desaturated here. And you can see here how we're just kind of layering in the color, switching our brush size as needed. Now you, you'll also notice that I really haven't erased. Uh, I'm not really too concerned with erasing at this point either. I'm, I'm really focused more on just layering in the color, uh, knowing that I'm going to come back in at a later point and begin to clean that up. So I'm actually going to come in and really kind of hit these with some darker colors in here. Yeah, let's see here. Maybe come in with a little bit of that purple. Now that's a really strange color if we come over and overlap it right in this area. It really looks very purple. But if I come over and I hit this red with it, it almost appears to desaturate that just a little bit. And that's because uh, of the blues we're mixing in. So um, ex that's what experimenting over here on the side will get you. You can come in and really start to kind of combine these different colors and see how they interact. Try combining just two at first um, and then try some experimentation with maybe even a third color if you need to. Let's come back in and bring those in. I can kind of see my pencil guide. Yeah, let's see, where's that purple? Now, you, the last thing you want to do is get too dark too quickly. And um, that's why I'm kind of uh, in this area right here around the side of her face. I'm starting to feel like we may be doing that some. So I'm going to kind of work around, hit some of these other areas as well. Come in just like so. Turning off my colorless blender and turning it back on as needed. Let's come over here and grab, you can see how I'm just kind of working all around uh, this particular tab in my Copic library. Come in and grab my colorless blender, do a little bit of blending under here. See that looks very red to me under there. Uh, so I will definitely want to kind of bring in some, some colors to try and desaturate that. 
But as I was zoomed out here, there's also kind of a distinction. These areas I've been working, you can kind of tell that I've gotten a little bit too dark in those areas because of uh, the really high contrast between the center of her face and these areas out to the edges. So um, it's time to kind of work in between those values that we've already started with here. So let me come back in here, grab this one, kind of start to work in just a bit like so. And we can always come in and blend if we need to. Again, we're trying not to destroy the the highlights that we've already come in and kind of established here. Where were our little shadows here? There's one about one right there. One about there. And I'm going to come in and bring some of these values in on our forehead a bit more. See how those are starting to interact. And let me just grab my colorless blender again. All right, so those are starting to look pretty good. I'll just come in and blend this one as well. So um, in this lesson, we've really started to begin layering some additional colors onto the face of our character here. Uh, now we're going to continue working on this. I'm going to go ahead and spend at least another lesson on her face. Um, but, you know, again, just kind of looking at it as we go, evaluating it as we go along, seeing what it needs. Uh, obviously, it's a female character. We want her face to feel very soft and very feminine. So um, we're going to go ahead and continue working on this face in the next lesson.